All right, guys, um, I'm here in Birmingham, been here all day, uh, putting transmission in this badass white S10 here at Avid Speed, um, getting ready for LS Fest. Uh, Dalton, Blake, and I, um, we've been doing that. Uh, we just got around to get in my car, getting ready to uh, uh, prep it for the dyno and uh, get it first startup on it. We had a wire and TPS sensor and um, uh, fixed the injector harness. Um, we had 12 hours in it yesterday, uh, wrench time at Dalton's, trans, wired in my fans and my water pump, um, starter, just miscellaneous stuff, um, ran transmission lines, other than that, um, everything's been really smooth, um, just uh, stop my men on alcohol, so, give me a quick look. Anyways, you gotta see enough of that car. Check out this white S10. Uh, this is a rod and piston motor. I've been really fast. Not my place to tell you all the times, but uh, yeah, it's really badass. Super light truck, super light. So, uh, I don't know, it's been a really good time here. Um, I think if everything goes well with the tonight, I'm gonna street test it tonight. I don't know, we'll see how we long been a long couple of days but other than that um let's get you guys right to the action um next thing you guys will see here is start up and on dino problem is I've only got like 10 psi of oil pressure on cold start. Um, it's a fresh motor so what we're thinking is either the, the, the ball valve and the oil pump is seized or something or when I put the the, the damn um, oil pickup tube it like creased or tore the o-ring and sucking in air so we'll see I'm gonna get in the air and uh, drop the oil pan it should only take a couple minutes but uh, other than that same same shit. I drove the car to Dalton's dad's house. It drives like a race car. So other than that, um, can't really film much. It's just me here today and Clay. So uh, we're just trying to crunch and get it ready for LS Fest. All right, guys. I'm letting you in in a little uh, race car um, one to one talk. This is my life right now. Get a good look. Pulling the oil pan off. Got to drop. Gotta drop the steering rack. I'm covered in oil. I'm covered in methanol. My hands are getting like burn bumps from all the damn brake cleaning and alcohol on them. Um, everyone's at work while I'm here. Clay just left. And uh, yeah, life's good. So I uh, figured out that the car had a uh, 520 in it. And that was way too thin, and it was like water, so I went down the road, bought 1540, put it in, and hopes it fixed the oil pressure issue. And it didn't, so had to redrain that. There goes uh, $40. So, uh, yeah, that's my life right now. So I'm going to keep uh, getting into it and try to evaluate uh, what's wrong with it. So, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty fun deal here. Not. Alright guys, so we're here at Pressurized Solutions, huge shout out to them. Um, they're fixing my steel rail. 
Uh, they're milling it and uh, he's welding it up. And then they're gonna mill it back down and we're gonna get out of here. Just found out Clay broke his transmission and drive shaft in the truck. So we gotta pull my trans because I think that they forgot the dog bone, the oil restrictor in the back of the motor. That's why the oil pressure is low. So it's gonna be another long night, but uh, we're gonna get done and get ready for LS Fest to leave in the morning. All right, guys, good thing. Good news is uh, that uh, valley cover O-ring gasket set fixed it. We're maxing out 100 PSI oil pressure sensor. Um, we've been, it's currently 11 o'clock and we're finishing welding a fitting to have small, one little, like, it drip every minute, but, you know, being methanol, I don't want any drips on it, so Lee's fixing it up. Sorry, Justin. <laughs> I could fly you here. Uh, so Lee's hitting it over there real quick. Um, it's actually a brass to uh, an aluminum fuel rail. We didn't know that until it burnt the, uh, the uh, powder coat off the fitting. But uh, other than that, um, we're going to let it sit idle, get it uh, get it heat cycled, and um, check all the fluids. Everything checks out. I'm going to go drive it down the road and make a couple test hits on it. I'm just like 10 pounds. Um, everything will have broken in. Get some data for Blake tomorrow at LS Fest and uh, go from there. So hopefully we get a race at LS Fest. I didn't pre-register. But um, the car's a disaster, but we, we did it. So you guys, perfect example, we can't give up. I've got like 40 hours in it in the past three days. So uh, other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, All right, tell them what, what are we doing? <laughs> All right, come on. Uh, you diagnosed it, so. Huh? iPhone 6. Okay, so tell them what we got doing with the rails. Well, Avery don't pay attention to nothing and had the left rail on the right and the right rail on the left. So we had to redo that so we quit blowing injectors out of it. So we tried to go make a test kit and uh, it was darker than shit and I couldn't see and it was blowing methanol all over the car. Uh, almost uh, didn't die, so that's good. But these things are just big pieces of shit in general. Um, I'm taking donations on new shit, but again, Lee's getting me fixed up and sleepy. With a 90 that he just welded, we had to cut off, but other than that, hopefully we don't leak because we got to leave for LS Fest in less than 12 hours. Pretty simple car, carbureted, nitrous car, so uh, can't go into too much detail. Big grudge car, so uh, other than that, uh, I'll take some clips for you guys. Probably gonna be a short little filler video. I don't know what Sam's gonna do with it, but uh, I'll see if I can't sneak some information from Dalton. But other than that, uh, I think we're just looking for grudge races tonight. Um, we just made a shakedown. Uh, Scott and I pulled the plugs and read them. Um, Dalton changed the court uh, tune up accordingly, but other than that, uh, the car's running super good. 